so now that we actually have uh, control over our github.io page and our github operation inside of our computer let's uh, create a new file in uh, in our local drive uh, and upload it to github.com to uh, to see how this process works basically what I'm going to do is in your assignment you should have access to some text that is uh, HTML this is an HTML file. It's from an old assignment. Uh, we're going to be adding CSS stylings later, but for now, just know that this is basic uh, HTML. Uh, have the most basic of uh, elements. Uh, uh, the page has a title. It's called CSS Designer. We have uh, a style sheet that will be attached later that we haven't created yet. It's called Assignment 2 Styles. We might be changing that to, to give it a more current feel. Uh, we have uh, headers, we have uh, HTML5 standard um, tagging when it comes to it. So this is not an HTML class necessarily, and you don't have to know everything about HTML, but uh, just enough to get started. What we want to do, though, is get this code. This is hosted in another GitHub area. Uh, you'll see that it says it's hosted by GitHub. You can see the raw HTML online if you click on that uh, as opposed to uh, something that's in the repositories this is separate and it's only text and it allows us to share information I'm going to start at the very top with doc type HTML just before that angle bracket starts I'm going to click and hold down my left button and the mouse and drag all the way down to select everything next I'm going to use the right button on my mouse to get the contextual menu. If you're working on a Mac, by the way, this is a PC environment, uh, you should have similar access to copy and paste from your mouse. I'll copy and uh, swing back to, I, well, let's rather than going online uh, and doing anything there, because we know we can create a new file here uh, by uh, following the, uh, the home directory and then seeing what we have, uh, we could say, you know, create a new file and, and that we would create a new directory to put things. But instead, I'm going to go to my Visual Studio Code. Um, by the way, I'm clicking back and forth all these uh, programs by the icons at the bottom. This is Windows 10 that uh, allows me to do that. And other systems do the same thing. I've already done something with this page, uh, so I want to create a new one. I'm going to click on my Explorer, the top left, so that I can see if I have anything open, and I do. And I basically inside my ITSC 401 GitHub.io, uh, that's inside that folder ITSC 1401 on my desktop. I have my index file, and next I'm going to do something for the next page. And by that, for that rather, I'm going to need a new folder. If I were in the Windows environment, I would be able to open up. I, a new a new file inside of a folder inside the Explorer by going to desktop and then seeing my ITSC 1401 doing uh, going into the github.io and right click and say create a new folder and create a new file we're going to skip that because we're using visual code but it's the same concept since this is already inside of that folder I'm going to hover on top of the icons here. One will allow me to create a new file, which is where I'm going to put my code. Before I create a new file, though, I want to create a new folder, which is where it's going to live. The next one here will refresh the Explorer. If any changes uh, happen while I'm not looking, I could refresh and see what's happened. And then it just collapses folder in Explorer. It just gives us a different view. I'm going to then create a new folder second icon there and it's uh, waiting for me to name it since we work in weeks and assignments uh, and this is an assignment for week three I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it week zero three I use a zero because eventually we'll have a week ten and I don't want to change the uh, the number of characters in my in my file convention name or my file name convention I pressed enter to accept the name week three and now I have a folder and uh, that's where the file will actually be uh, created if I click to select it 
the carrot to the side turns down, it tells me that it's trying to show me what's inside. There's nothing there until I put it there. If I click again, it will just point to the name. But I'm, I'm going to create a new file. And I want to call this index.html. The main page of every web page should be called index.html or .htm or index.php or depending on what you're working on. It may have uh, different extensions, but it should always be an index file. That tells the system that this is where the navigation begins. Now that I've created the file and it exists in my drive, my, my um, editor is active. So it tells me that index.html inside of week three, and it gives me the pathway that it's followed. It's in my desktop inside an ITSC 1401 folder. Inside of my repository in week three, the file is called index.html. And it's waiting for me to give it some information. So I'm going to right click, since I had copied that text before, and paste it. The shortcut is Control V. Most of these contextual menus tell you what the shortcut is. This is Control V on a PC. If this were a Macintosh, it would probably say, it should say, Command V to paste. I will paste. And because this is just recently brought in and doesn't quite know what to do with it, it knows it's an HTML file. But until we actually start saving and committing, things might not look much different. You'll notice, though, that it's beginning to show me different colors. It, it knows that this is uh, valuable data. It knows that some of these are commands. It knows that some of these are elements. And it knows that some of these uh, words are just text. I'll explain most of, the, uh, most of what's going on with uh, this HTML in this exercise. In the meantime, though, here it's telling me that it's going to expect, at some point, a file called assignment2styles.css. And maybe we'll keep it that, at that way, but uh, why don't I start by changing this? I'm just going to call it styles.css to keep it simple. I'm just editing the file by deleting those characters. CSS uh, Designer is the title of the page, etc. It's telling me that some things in the source control are pending changes already, and that the File Explorer is ex experiencing some changes. Let's see what uh, the source control wants me to do. If I click on it, it wants me to type in a message to commit this file. So it's just waiting for me to save it. The Explorer is just showing me that there's a new file inside of week three, and it's currently on track. So it's aware that I'm working with a, with a uh, dynamic page that's going to change in the next uh, moments or the next weeks, or it's going to change at some point. It's just not ready to be saved. Uh, I don't have much to say about the file currently, other than the file exists. It is now here. So I will start to commit the source control and pending changes. I'll click that first, and I'll say that we have uh, created uh, an index file. So I'll, I say I created index.html. As a comment to myself, I'll press Enter. Well, that really doesn't do much until I tell it to do something. So I'll check the, uh, or click the check mark for commit, and I'll save all and commit. And so now everything's being uh, committed and put into the file system. I noticed that my Explorer has also uh, stopped uh, flashing that green light. And I'm going to go down to the uh, Synchronize Changes icon, click it, and push this file to my website. Give it a few seconds so that it thinks about this. It uh, gets, gathers the data and compares it to what's online. I'll now go back to my uh, browser and find my, uh, my uh, repository, ITSC 1401, that up to so little while, a little while ago only had the readme file and the index file. If I reload this page to refresh it, we have created an index.html, that's the file that I created, and I've also created a new folder it's called week three. If I click on week three, I'll see the contents, and here's my index.html file with the comment created in the index.html file about a minute ago. I'll click on index.html, and I'll see the code that I copied and pasted. And everything's here waiting just to be loaded onto the regular um, website. 
currently we don't have any links and we'll probably do that in the next video but uh, for now know that this page we didn't do much other than add the assignment 4 and uh, if I reload nothing happens however we did create a new folder so at the end of this uh, website's name on top in the URL I'm going to add a slash and type in week 03 and press enter and because this is an index.html file, it knows that this is the file to open. And it's showing me the content. It says it's called Assignment 2, and we'll probably change that to CSS Designer at some point. And it's showing me that it's got a link, an, an ordered list, or rather an unordered list. Uh, it's got a level 1 heading, level 2, level 3, etc. And it's got a lot of HTML uh, elements to look at that we're going to be coding with CSS in the following exercise.